If you've watched a few of my past videos, you would notice that I calculate basically every single recipe I make in percents, and I transfer that into a weighed out formula in order to make a cosmetic. So if you are new to making skincare products, you probably didn't know that a proper skincare cosmetic formula is actually formulated in two percents and then you transfer that into a weighed out formula generally in grams or ounces. I personally like to weigh things in grams. It's a lot smaller of an increment and I feel like it's more precise rather than using ounces. My name is Tara and I make all kinds of homemade skincare products here on my channel. I do Etsy related videos and business related videos. So if you need those kinds of videos in your life then subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I post three times a week on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays so I have tons of of content for you guys. If you're new to making skincare products, which I'm assuming you are if you clicked on this video, then you would probably benefit from a video I did recently called How to Start Making Skincare Products. And I basically go into detail about where you should start in order to start making skincare products. So this video kind of goes hand in hand with that last video. And I'm going to be talking about how you can transfer a recipe that's written in 2% into a weighed out increments. So first let's talk about why you should weigh a recipe out in percents. If you just want to skip ahead and figure out how to calculate in 2%, then skip ahead head right here. Maybe you already understand why recipes are calculated in two percents, but if you don't know why, keep watching. If not, skip ahead right here. Recipes are formulated in percents because it's so much easier to take a recipe that's written in two percents and transfer what its end weight should be. So for example, it's a lot easy to make a recipe that's written in two percents into a 100 gram recipe or a 200 gram recipe or a 450 gram recipe or a 675 gram recipe. It's so much easier to do that rather than taking a recipe that's weighed out in like cups and tablespoons and like just transfer transferring that to be like maybe like only half bigger or like a third bigger. It's so much more difficult to do that and it's also more precise to weigh your ingredients rather than measuring it in a cup because that's just not precise. Also if you are familiar with purchasing ingredients from bulk suppliers who sell like cosmetic or skincare ingredients, a lot of them will have percentage recommended usage rates. So they'll have like a preservative that's recommended to be used at like 0.2 to 0.5 percent or maybe a vitamin that's recommended to be used at like 2 or maybe an emulsifier that's recommended to be used at like 1% to 10%. How would you calculate that in like cups or tablespoons? That's so much more difficult. So it's a lot easier when you're writing a recipe being like, okay, 2% preservative, 10% carrier oils, 3% emulsifier. It's so much easier to do that. And as you get more experience with making skincare products, you'll have better knowledge of which percentage each ingredient should be used at. This determines by what your product is going to be. Is it a liquid? Is it a solid? There's all kinds of variables that come into that. And if you want a better understanding of how to actually formulate a cosmetic recipe, I do have a video all on that. I'll link it down below and up here for you guys. And I just go into each step that you should take in order to create a cosmetic formula. So now that you guys understand why recipes are calculated in percents, let's talk about how to calculate a recipe from percents into a weighed out formula. So like I said, I like weighing in grams, so I'm gonna be transferring the recipe into grams. The same way can be done with ounces or pounds if for some reason you wanna weigh in pounds, which you probably won't do that. I don't recommend that. So yeah, let's just get into it so you guys can figure out how to formulate a recipe for percents into grams or ounces or whatever you're weighing it in. So we're just gonna be taking this makeup primer recipe and I'm gonna show you guys how to transfer the percents into grams. So the simplest way to do this is if you want to make a 100 gram recipe, literally 47% of 100 grams is 47. 3% of 100 grams is three. That's because all these percentages equal up to 100. So finding a 100 gram recipe is the easiest out of all of them. We're gonna do one a little bit more difficult and we're gonna be making a 230 gram recipe. And in order to do this, literally all you need to do is go to Google and Google what is 47% of 230. Click enter and you got your answer, 108.1. And we're just gonna go to pages and write 108.1 grams of distilled water. So I'll show you guys another one. Now we need to find 3% of 230 grams. So you just go back to Google, change the 47 to a 3, and you got your answer, 6.9. So you just continue doing this with the entire formula until you have it all written out into grams. It is seriously that easy. So I hope you guys found this as easy as I find it to be easy and hope you found it helpful. So I do hope you guys found that video informative. I hope it made sense to you guys. Also, if you guys didn't know, I do sell homemade skincare products over on my Etsy shop. I'll have it linked down below. I have a free shipping code and a 10% off coupon code down in the description box. I'll also have it linked down in the description box as well. And I'll have it linked up here so it's easy for you guys to find. So I hope you all have a great week and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye. I'm stuck in the motions. I've been consumed by the wrath of time like I'm from
Oh, I'm shy.